my beautiful aqua gang 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 what it do aqua soul family it's your girl and press 777 here today with a general message for my beautiful aquarius soul family how is it going you guys i hope you're doing super fantastic i most certainly am holy angels and spirit guys please give us exactly what it is that we need to know in regards to my beautiful aquarian family summarizing and venus signs the messages are general guys okay don't force anything to fit Take what resonates with you, leave the rest. Use your intuition to guide you towards those messages that are here for you today. And leave the rest for whoever it might be. For cross watchers, you are also welcome here, okay? If you happen to be dealing with an Aquarius, just place yourself where you belong in these storylines, okay? Please take a moment and click the like button, guys, all right? As well as the subscribe button. If you want to make it official, become a part of the team. We would love to have you, okay? We would just love it. We would love it. We cut up over here, y'all. I'm just warning you. It's just a warning. Can the sister give the warning? Okay. It's just a warning. We cut up over here. You know what I'm saying? But it's a good time. We try to have a good time. Even in those darker readings or darker times, okay? Now, shit does get kind of dark in this one, but I don't get that the darkness is coming from your end. I feel like you've already worked through whatever issues you would have had um, upon walking away from this. It does look like this is something that you have walked away from. This is something that you have broken away from, something that you have disconnected from. Now, there might have been some confusion in reference to the things that this person got away with or getting away with something. Spirit is saying they aren't getting away with it, okay? It just hasn't been their time to repay, right? It hasn't been their time to pay up. I feel like that time is vastly approaching. And I feel that way because of the very first card that I got. Okay, we have frustration. That is an understatement is what they're saying. I'm even hearing that this person was kind of doubtful that, you know, they would have any repercussions for the way that they kind of carry themselves. It is habitual to have it. Okay, um, in all areas of their life, they seek to be unfazed, unemotionally attached, and yet having a very stark image of arrogance, right? Like they know that they are always going to come out on top. Like they know that they they are very, very valuable. This person has overvalued themselves, but because of the kind of people that they're able to get into relationships with, because of the kind of people that they are able to attract romantically, because of the kind of jobs they've been able to acquire without any prior experience, etc., etc. I can go on and on and on. It's just been a very lucky phase for this person um a very lucky right couple of cycles it could be for some of them i do see that coming to a screeching halt you were a thorn in this person's ass is what i'm hearing it was always meant for you to walk away they did not like your nonchalance and they also didn't like that you were able to read their mind i don't get that you're a mind reader i just feel like you are a good judge of character you listen to your intuition. You can tell when something is off. You can tell when someone is lying. You can tell when someone is telling half truths. You can tell when someone is omitting shit. You can tell if somebody is really, you know, into it or not, right? You have like a very good judgment of people's character and energy. Thorn in their ass is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Did that mean that they walked away from it? No. This person definitely saw value in seeking you out. So for me to say that I feel like you weren't really giving into this connection as much as this person, they were seeking you out. Um, that might have actually bothered them, right? That they were they were into you, but you seem to be the one unfazed. And that's really how they normally do things, right? They like to kind of sit in their arrogance and be able to know that somebody is is really valuing them the way that they feel they should be valued. They trust that that is a part of the plan, right? And it also allows for them to not invest too much. If they know that somebody is overly into them, then they don't have to invest as much. But I feel like you kind of left things up in the air or you kind of said things to this person to lead them to believe that you could see right through them, that you could see right through their plan. Now, for some of you, this person did some shady shit in order for you to walk away from them. Whenever you do walk away or whenever you did walk away, that was in divine timing, okay? That was all a part of the plan. It was supposed to happen that way. It, it was possibly very hurtful to have to do that. There is also something about this person saying something. I feel like they said something below the belt or maybe they said something to you or acted in a certain very cold, distant, detached kind of way to make it appear as if you weren't valuable to them. That was a defense mechanism, And regardless of how things ended or how this decision came about, 
um, this person is now realizing that you weren't talking a bunch of shit, right? About karma and about just spirituality in general. Okay, I'm kind of getting an eye roll. So like maybe you did try to put this person on to their energy. Like what you put out is what you get back. You know, you don't get to just run amok in people's lives and don't expect anything to not happen to you. This person would have definitely been very arrogant in that. Like nothing ever happens to me. Like I get away with what I want to get away with, right? Like I don't lie to people. I tell them what it is type of thing, but they have a very manipulative way of getting people attached. They get they have a very manipulative way about um way about going about getting themselves in a position where people are overvaluing them just as they are overvaluing themselves it's not that they're not valuable it's just that they're lying about their value you see what i'm saying and they do that by acting like they are the shit right like by acting as if you should you know kiss the ground that i walk on you should look at this encounter with me as a gift you very much are giving indifference very unfazed it's not that you didn't like this person but there was always something that rubbed you the wrong way about them potentially okay maybe the first couple of times you did not listen to that to that intuitive nudge but eventually you got there and I do feel like you're just kind of chilling you are um definitely thriving energetically this person is now paying the piper that's the phrase that I heard it's time to pay the piper so for somebody who's gotten very used to being in a certain way, right, getting certain things, having things kind of pan out in their favor over and over and over again, I don't get that happening at this time, you guys, okay? Their currency is lacking in multiple areas of their life. They are trying to pretend as if there is, it's not bothering them, but it's going to come to a, a big um, crossroads, they're going to have to make a choice. The old ways in which the, they were able to get ahead in life and the ways in which they were able to attain their quality of life, right? Those are no longer working. That's no longer working. Whether that be that they like to, you know, grind their way up on the back of somebody else or just lie their way through corporate America, sleep their way up the, the uh, corporate ladder, um, it's like they're doing something, but it's a lie. OK, whatever their plan was in order to get ahead, in order to get more, in order to get further, in order to attain some kind of security, because we do have money here. Right. Um, they have to do it by way of making other people feel insecure and by way of making other people feel more um more trustful within them, even though they are untrustworthy. So you trust the plan. Um, shit is going crazy in this person's energy, you guys, okay? So in this frustrated card, we have a clown here, right? I ain't calling him a clown, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying they, you know, part of the Ringling Brothers and Bottom and Bailey. But what I'm saying is they do feel a bit like they've been on some clown shit just based on what is not was no longer working right how things are unfolding right now um time is up that is what i am hearing so it could have been multiple cycles that this person has kind of just been able to really run amok is what it feels like guys okay um it does look like multiple areas of their life are taking is taking a hit now you might ask yourself what you have to do with this well i feel like all of your energy over there is really what's um kind of coming to the forefront of this person's mind it could be some things that you said to them like i said i feel like you you spoke to them right about their patterns about their ways um you kind of tried to help them even though they didn't deserve that you may have even warned them right about things that you saw happen to other people there's something um here specifically so don't force it to fit that you either said or the way that you handled them that that is now kind of putting a spotlight on you as a person in general. I do feel like there's a little bit of envy here. This person kind of felt like they were better off than you. They did feel like they were better than you, which is kind of weird, especially if this is a romantic relationship. It's like this is not a competition. Um, they kind of felt like you were Mr. Goody Two Shoes or Mrs. Goody Two Shoe because you do everything by the book or you kind of play by the rules so to speak right um the rules of karma if you will you you do things the correct way you've been doing things the right way so that's possibly where i'm getting this eye roll from yeah i feel like this person is seeing you as having peace being really comfortable in life right now being able to chill 
um, they're having some second thoughts about how they treated you uh, among other people. OK, so this is definitely having to do with um, this person potentially being under some form of mental attack, right? Like a spiritual attack. It says hating on your beliefs. Yeah. Not liking that you are untraditional or uncomfortable with your spirituality. So even if you didn't speak spiritually with this person, they could feel it in your aura, right? Your Zen, just how calm you were or how you didn't have to underhandedly do things in order to get ahead, right? These are things that they've analyzed about you. No, no matter how um, short or long the time frame that the two of you were around each other, these are very noticeable characteristics about you, noticeable things about you. Hmm. Trust the plan. Now, I feel as though they do want to talk, right? This person kind of wants to come in and say something. They don't know exactly what to do. So um, all signs or all roads, in their opinion, might be leading towards you. Do they have bad intentions for this approach, for this resurgence? Um, that we will have to further look into, but... With your energy being over here, theirs is very muddy, okay? It is um, dark over here, guys, okay? It is seeming as if this person is trying to act as if they're unfazed, but they are panicking. Um, they're not able to trust the plan because they don't know what the plan is, and they feel like you said some things to them, or they've seen you navigate ways or things in your life. They may want some advice, so to speak, but we'll just have to see, right? Wait to see all sides of this one, exactly. Like, I feel as though... That doesn't necessarily mean that their intentions are good or bad, but I would keep my good eye on this person because um, uh, just because of the idea that this is habitual, right? Like this is just the way that they operate. And for somebody who's always known to do whatever they need to do, even step on people to get ahead, you just kind of want to make sure you're not mixing yourself up in their bullshit. OK, keep a good level of distance from this person. Um. There's a great deal of sadness here, you guys, okay? I feel like they're in denial. Um, shit is falling apart. Now, this is what they are due to pay back. I do feel that. I feel as though this is what they have reaped. This is the seeds that they have sown. They are still trying to act as if it's not happening, unfazed. Yet, internally, there is this idea of you know, what am I going to do? How is this going to turn out? How will I fix this? OK, we have love is blind in the reverse. So that is see for me, that's a red flag. You know what I'm saying? This is why you need to very much so keep your good eye on this person. If you're still dealing with them or if you do happen to have a conversation with them, they will reach out even if the two of you are currently in separation. OK, for some of you, you could have walked away completely or you could have just distanced yourself. Right. A great deal. Place them in a different category where like we're just friends. We can chill with each other. We can just kind of kick it. But long term is not even an option with you. This gives me pause. You see, um, this person is not interested in doing the work that it takes to get where they were. Um, Cause I do see them falling from grace. I, that's, that's what I just heard. Like um, a, a fall from grace Hmm. They got very comfortable in this positioning in life or the way that they were doing things, the things that they have, the things that they've acquired, um, even if it's emotional. Right. It could just be the emotional um, aspects of their own energy that they've never had to tap into. And now they are very much so emotional because of a certain thing. For a lot of you, it is money. It's something monetary. Right. This could be losing their job or just having a substantial pay cut, maybe getting demoted. They feel insecure. This is possibly the only thing that made them feel secure. Now, if you're like, girl, he was broke, broke as fuck. She ain't had no money, Empress. OK, well, then it was something else because currency can mean many of things, guys. They place value on something way too much value on this one thing. And the gag about that is whatever this person placed their value on was built on sand, number one, and they built it based on a lie. So it was always in danger and vulnerable to collapse. But I just guess that they got so arrogant, right? This could be a fraud. This, per this person could be doing fraud, something to that effect. It's really catching up to them. It's catching up with them. For some of you, this could be something illegal. 
Okay? This could be something illegal that this person was doing, a legal matter, something to that effect. Um, they are scared. That's why I said something legal, something where they are in trouble. They're in deeper trouble than what they ever suspected. Okay? It's going to take a lot more work to dig themselves out of this. And that's why this gives me pause because if it sort of feels as though this is a time of desperation, right? So, so where they need help or they're needing some kind of assistance or your brain power or your support, um, there's a lot of anxiety here. It's going to go down either way, ma'am, sir, bro, sis, okay? You did this. So you got to pay up. Like, you're going to have to pay for this. You are going to have to suffer the consequences, if you will. But I do feel as though they're trying to avoid that. And for some reason, they feel like you're going to be able to help them do that. Yeah. So you see how calm I'm talking, you guys? But all of these cards are so frantic. The energy is like they are bubbling over the surface, right? Under the surface, excuse me. Bubbling under the surface. It's a lot. It's very overwhelming emotionally. But then my tone is very like subdued, unfazed, you know, kind of just level headed. Like, I got this. It's cool. We're cool. Like, everything is fine, right? Delulu much. So it sort of feels like somebody who is looking for help or assistance to get them out of this. Now, don't force anything to fit, guys, okay? This doesn't have to be somebody is going to jail, even though they might, <laughs> okay? It could be a mental imprisonment, right? It could be a spiritual warfare, spiritual imprisonment. It could be a number of things. This is energetic, and it could actually be some things that this person has been doing that you do not know about, and now it's time for them to pay up for it, okay? They are scared as fuck. I get like cold sweats at night um waking up really kind of um spiraling out of control okay um now i'm not saying that this has all started to unravel since you've walked away but that's kind of how it appears because they're kind of like pointing towards you definitely regretting whatever it is that they did to make you walk away if they betrayed you if they lied to you if they talked to you crazy if they did something they're feeling like oh that spiritual shit is real like you have some kind of protection over you because I wasn't having these problems or I was a, I was able to get away with all of this shit before I met you and especially before I did that to you so they are correlating this to a direct punishment for what they did what they said and that could be true guys right um, there is a level of protection that you have over your life and around you. That is by design, right? You're prayed up. You are meditated up. You are doing the right thing. You're planting the right seeds in your life. Now, I'm not tooting your horn. I'm just saying that your life is not perfect, but you are doing what's necessary in order to have good karma coming back your way just to be met with this bullshit. This person didn't really know that they were dealing with a silent alarm a silent bomb or some shit whatever they're saying right a silencer i have an idea for some of you i feel like this person kind of looked at you as soft like they could take advantage you know what i'm saying like they could do these things to you that they could because you um are not problematic for a lot of you you you're not confrontational. You are not problematic. I'm not about to argue with you. You know what I'm saying? They may have said some very hurtful things to you. They may have stolen from you for some of you, right? Actually stolen your money or your time, your energy, your efforts, right? By lying. All of the things stole your happiness or your peace of mind. All of those things matter. That's all, all of that shit matters. You don't just get to come into somebody's life and start fucking it up. Like what? <laughs> And then you just expect to be able to walk off into the sunset and nothing is supposed to happen to you? Are you crazy? Loco en la cabeza? Got to be. You got to be. Or maybe they just thought that they had time. Right? 
to at least get where they're going or do whatever it is the fuck that they're doing or get to the next person before shit starts to blow up but I don't see that I feel like this person cannot fucking believe it right and it could have happened really really fast is what I'm hearing like as soon as they said that shit to you or as soon as you caught them in a lie as soon as you caught them cheating as soon as you caught them doing whatever as soon as they did whatever like played you did you whatever they did to you it was immediate it was immediate and it hasn't let up yeah so they're saying several phrases it was immediate this response um to their energy shift because like I said it, it appears as if they went through a very lucky cycle or a couple of lucky cycles right where they've been able to get away with this it's you they keep pointing at you um immediately after they did whatever they did said whatever they said whatever has triggered you to walk away from this was painful guys okay is what I'm hearing that's what I'm hearing um immediately after that shit started to go awry okay things started spiraling downward it's a downward spiral it's like a free fall is what i'm hearing i'm hearing screaming like um so maybe in the privacy of their own home they're letting it off right like they are screaming yeah see i'm hearing like screaming like of uh, screams of frustration maybe punching holes in the wall right if they are like that kind of tyrant um it could be drinking. It could be like lots of crying, right? Bawling their eyes out. Like this is a lot. Like this is way too much. This is way more than they expected to happen. And they are kind of pointing the finger at you because it started that way. You're going to need to keep your distance from this. Okay. So this feels more like a forewarning than anything. Um, I feel like they came in kind of easy breezy. Maybe, you know, wanting to sell this fantasy. Hmm, I almost fell for it. The fuck? I definitely almost fell for it. And as you can see, my tone is still very much so calm. All of this shit is wild as fuck. This is wild energy, guys. Okay, it's all over the place. But this is the only thing that they're wanting to present. Okay, cool, calm, collected. Got my cigarette, got my cigar, got my drink. I'm fine, right? Like, nobody can phase me. Nobody can F up the plan that I have, right? Um, only pff, your plan is going to shit what does this mean love is blind in the reverse so yeah okay so what they're saying is like i said this person pegged you as a softy right somebody who's been blinded by either their money their good looks their body their you know a good time you always saw something in this person that was off. Is it a lie? I think it's not a lie, guys. And they always felt something in you that was threatening, right? To who they are as a person, which is not truthful. They're not truthful. They're a fake. They're a fraud. Okay? They are operating on a very much so lower vibration than you are. But there was still some chemistry there, an attraction, if you will. There, that arrogance always showed up. So that is something that all of you should be able to admit. And the arrogance could be what led you to stay at somewhat of a distance to this person, but they were still close enough to be able to hurt you or to be able to hurt your feelings or to be able to kind of, you know, say hurtful things, do hurtful things. They were close enough. I feel as though as soon as you pull the trigger on this definite distance is what this feels like. A definite break. Done. Distant. Detached. Away. I'm away. The energy is away. Right? Um, once this is triggered, I feel as though that is when things start happening. Okay? It's freaking them the fuck out. They are scared, y'all. I'm not even going to hold you. And if you said something to them... <laughs> as above so below shit like that you know you read what you sow and you know until you do right by me okay god don't play about me spirit don't play about me right like you're gonna get yours if you had a little phrase that you said before you teetered on out the door and they watch your fine ass skip off into the wind 
that is what is prevalent in their mind okay that's on repeat actually right they actually possibly rolled their eyes didn't I keep saying they, they might have rolled their eyes when you said that um or you know just had this this air of arrogance when it was said like you're right you know fuck out of here nothing is going to happen to me right like you could get with it or get lost and you're like fine I'll get lost then bitch I'm out of here okay I'm gone you don't got to worry about me. You do not have to worry about me. They never suspected that this is what would start occurring, okay? Their life is absolutely spiraling out of control. All of their lies are catching up to them. Okay, if they were doing illegal shit, the FBI is knocking on their dough with the faux faux. Shit is not sweet. They thought you were sweet. <laughs> they thought like you were just this sweet guy, right? The good guy, the good girl. Which is why they tried you. Let's, let's just call the thing a thing. That's why they tried it. That's why they tried you. Um, they are shaking in their boots at the levels in which these things are being thrown at them. And like I said, it's starting to happen immediately, immediately after, immediately, guys, like the next day. They're like, you've got to be fucking kidding me, right? So I think this person possibly tried to stay unfazed, right? When the first thing happened, but then right after the first thing, then the next thing. It wasn't even two days until the next thing came. And then three days later, something else. And then four days later, they baby mama taking it in the court. And then five days later, they baby daddy want to do this. And then six days later, they homie done fell out. And then da, 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 right? It was like one. And then, and then shit, the next week, their job is saying, you know, we're having layoffs. And then the next week after that, Money come up missing in their account. And then the next week following that, they find out that they got something. I don't know. If they've been fucking around. I don't know. It's just like one thing after another, after another, after another. And it has not let up. That is the thing, right? So they are like scared. They're terrified. They're waiting for the next shoe to drop. For somebody who's always been able to kind of get it, what it is that they need, be secure in this. This is why they are so arrogant. They have never felt this out of balance. They have never felt this out of control. They have never felt this much anxiety, this much worry, this much, you know, um, just lost, right? They have never felt this lost before, ever. They've never not had a plan. I'm gonna need you to keep your distance from this one, y'all, okay? Love you. I don't think this one is the right one. We can't just be friends. None of that shit. This person don't want to be your friend, guys, okay? They want to know what you did. <laughs> they want to know what you said. Did you put a spell on them? Like, what is going on here, right? But I don't think that they're leading with that. I don't. This is a charmer, right? And they may have the gift of gab or the gift of getting people to feel sorry for them. Or at least hear them out. Um, I'm seeing distance, right? Like that, this is not safe, right? It's not safe. Okay. Very heavy energy, you guys, right? Taking pause, breaks, and shit. Let's hop over to the extended. <laughs> We really need to get some answers here, okay? So that you can protect yourself and be sure that you are fully informed, right? Prior to this appearance, um, prior to this approach, resurgence from this person. This person is viewing you as somebody who was in love with them, okay? In love with them beyond measure. Like, they could do no wrong. I, I don't get that they should still feel that way based on the way that you've disconnected from this, but they're kind of trying to be optimistic that they still have pull, that they still have, you know, you wrapped around their finger or that they still have some kind of emotional attachment that they can kind of pull at those strings. Um, there is a plan that I feel like they are concocting. Okay. You are involved in this and I just, yeah. So <clears throat> don't piss me off, ma'am, sir, brush this. I'm talking to your person now. Like I don't like this. I don't like it, guys. I really don't. There's also something here about this person seeing you not bent out of shape. So if you've been per posting online, they may be lurking under like a dummy account. 
Okay, if you see somebody who is trying to follow you or um, requesting to, to friend you or whatever the fuck on whatever these platforms are that you don't know, you do know them. They're like, you know, creating um, dummy accounts in order to to spy, spy you, see what you're doing. Um, there is this kind of blame game that this person I feel is playing here. Are they going to say that to your face? Absolutely not. No, they're not going to ever say this. OK, um, they're also keeping it under wraps the way in which their life is falling apart. I feel like nobody knows. Right. They let it off in the privacy of their own home. OK, whether they're screaming, whether they're crying, whether they're drinking, whether they're punching walls, whether they're, you know, whatever the fuck it is that they're doing in there. OK, they're letting it off then. And they even feel out of control in that way. They want this to stop, right? And they're scared. They are very much so scared. I'm hearing like, you know, this ominous sort of energy, right? And self-talk, like they don't know what's going to happen next. They are very much so frightened. Never seen it before in a reading. I'll be honest with you. Okay, it's got me a little shook. Okay, okay, okay. But listen, you reap what you sow. Like you did this. So you must have instilled fear at some point in time for you to be feeling this. OK, whatever you put out is what you get back, bitch. Like, I don't understand. OK, you asking us like and you come in, you coming up here wanting to talk to Aquarius for what? What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> OK, get from here. Let's go ahead. And like I said, we're going to hop over to the extended guys. OK, very interesting reading. I want to see what their next steps are, okay? The intentions behind those next steps so that you can be fully prepared upon that. Let's get some details in reference to what this karma is looking like. What are they experiencing um, specifically? And what do they still do to be expecting in this karmic debt or repayment, okay? It's not done. It just started. So, you know, they're scared, rightfully so. And you should be. And you should be. You thought you was gonna get away with this shit, bitch? No, okay? Now, that's going to be important to know just in case you find yourself still engaging with this person, even though distance is what they're pointing towards. Just know whatever people are going through, it's all energy, right? It does have the ability to rub off. OK, let's also see what their regrets are, if any, or their purest feelings towards this. That will give us an idea of what this plan is that they are devising. And if it's rooted in something pure, are they just looking for advice or are they looking to bring you down with them? Right. Or are they looking to to transfer this negative energy over? Right. That's possible. Right. And then so we'll also get the potential outcome, whether you decide to deal with this or not. <laughs> right. It's, it seemed like a no brainer to me, but hey, ain't no judgment. I will look. Right. What is the potential outcome if you decide to invest in this? If you come towards this person, what are you setting yourself up for versus going in the opposite direction? What is that looking like over there with you? OK, I do want to know how you can prepare yourself to be sure that you are invisible to all low vibrational energy such as this one. Right. And all low vibrational people. How do you make yourself invisible energetically? Um, that's going to be important because why is this showing up? Right. This is. This reading has really been about what this person is going through, yet it's still here. So so how can you what is your what is your protective plan? Can we get can we get uh, some insurance? What, what is the protective? What is the protection plan? A, a three year, four year, five year, six cycle protection plan for uh, Aquarius, please. All jokes aside, no bullshit, right? We, we really I need to know that. And then we'll get into new love. I will tap into something new, okay? Because this has been kind of heavy. And it doesn't even appear like this is something that's here for you to, to salvage or reconcile. It looks more like a warning. So we will tap into new love. Who's coming in? Only the good, only the new. All right, what do you need to know about this person? Okay, approaching, right? Yes, I also want to know what's the most attractive quality about them? All right. What do they find attractive about you? How will you most likely meet this person? What is the return that you will receive on investing in this newer energy? OK, um, I also want to know what their chemistry is with you in and out of the bedroom because I'm nosy. Yeah. I also want to know how will you be signaled if this is your divine counterpart? What is the sign or um, synchronicity that you can look for to signify your divine counterpart? That's just me also spying. I want to know. We'll look at some time frames in reference to when this old individual will make their appearance, the newer person. And then we'll also look at a time frame for when you may potentially meet your person, right? Your divine counterpart, your soulmate. 
however you want to phrase them, your life partner, okay? And then we'll get some focus advice on how you can yield your desired life of abundance, fulfillment, and happiness. Whatever that might be for you, everybody's recipe is different. How do you manifest that in the least amount of time according to the divine, okay? And I'll also throw in a Ask the Universe reading. I'll give you the floor to ask a couple of questions, okay? I'll have more instructions for that over in the extended. So without further ado, click the like button as well as the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I'll put the link for the extended reading down below in the description box. I'm gonna see y'all over there. Let's go.